Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a dynamic movement for your camera. Now if you don't know what that is, I'll show you right now. Okay, as you can see when we start the game, our camera is just standing still. And it is having some movement because of the animation. But if I look left and right, what's going to happen is my camera is going to rotate on its um, Z angle and rotate towards what direction I'm going to. So if I'm going to my left, the camera rotates to the left. If I rotate to my right, the camera rotates to the right. Now it might be hard to see, so I'm just going to go back out and beef up the angle. I'm going to go for a 32 angle degree. Okay, so now if I run it, there we go. That's dynamic movement for the camera, and that's what you get. That's what you're going to be learning today. So I'm going to open up the script that I done before, delete all the code, and start from scratch. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to define two functions. First of all, it's going to be function start open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace. Second one is going to be function update open bracket close bracket open curly brace and closing curly brace now since we have the both we now need to start defining our variables that we need for this script and the first one is going to be our angle what angle our camera is going to be rotating to uh, so basically like it's going to be float that says a number in there and that's going to be used as angle so if it's 90 it's telling it to turn 90 degrees on whatever angle you want it to x y or z so let's say for angle it's going to be a type float and it's going to be equals to 20 for me close that one now that we've got the first one down the next one we need to the limit var limit so we type float and it's going to be equals to 0 0.3 now what I lose I put all the variables down and then I explain them to you afterwards uh, the next one is me of var speed how fast we want the camera to move to the angle it's going to be float it's going to be equals to 200 sorry 100 you can have 200 if you want it's up to you the next three are really important so these are going to be private if you don't want to view them outside so private oh butterfingers today private for original rotation so I'm just going to call this ORIG and it's going to be a type quaternion That's spelt Q U A T E R N I O N. Okay, I want to copy this two more times and I'm going to place them underneath this one and that one. And for the last one, it's going to be a float, so I change that to a float and rename the second one to destination. So, short words can be dest and the last one, direction. So, der. Now, let me explain these variables. Okay, the first one is self explanatorial. So, this is just the angle it's going to move towards. So, 90 degrees and whatever. It could be x, z, or y. It's up to you. The next one is a limit. Now, limit is for the mouse. Now, this is really important because it's going to be used for lerp later on. So, basically, what happens is when we start our game, our mouse at the moment is set to zero. I'm not running the game, just sh um, telling you what happens. And if we go to the right, or if we move to the left, this engine gives it a value. So it could be right could be minus one, minus two, minus three. Left could be plus one, plus two, plus three, or it could be the opposite. And we want to say if the mouse movement 
is greater than mouse movement on the X is greater than three or less than three we want the camera to rotate on either side so let's just say our right is a positive number so positive three if it is we want to turn 20 degrees on the Z angle Z axis so that will give it this direction and then if it's on the left do 20 minus 20 degrees on the Z axis so that's what limits for uh, original is speed sorry speed is just how fast we want the angle to rotate the orange which is stands for original is basically the original angle for the camera so once we stop moving the mouse it will go back to its original position the next one is destination which is going to be used for the angle so we can start defining those later on and the direction for the mouse this is for the mouse basically yeah I just said it <laughs> and this will basically see what direction we are plus or negative 